for our last reaction here today, we are going to have the sodium coming together with the chlorate, the hydrogen with carbonate. Sodium chlorate, anything with an alkali metal in it is always going to dissolve in water, AQ, aqueous. Then our other product, hydrogen with carbonate. When we look over here and say, let's put hydrogen and carbonate together, here's carbonate with hydrogen, soluble. Soluble means dissolves in water, aqueous, right? So if at first you saw, oh, this says aqueous, 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 that means that all four of those, when we go to break them up into their ions, all of the ions would end up being spectators, and maybe you accidentally predicted number four as being a no reaction. The catch is that to get this H2CO3, yes, it's aqueous. Carbonic acid does dissolve in water. However, carbonic acid is not a very stable substance. It always breaks down into water and carbon dioxide. If you scroll to the page ahead, where we talked about double displacement reactions only work if they form a solid, liquid, or gas, it tells you right here. Anytime you have H2CO3 as a product, which is what happens in number four, that H2CO3 is always gonna break down into water and CO2. So what's gonna happen is Technically, when you go to write the products of that reaction, you wouldn't write sodium chlorate and carbonic acid. You would write down three products, sodium chlorate, water, and carbon dioxide. Now, just a little trick of the trade for you. Um, if you are having trouble balancing your chemical reaction with those three products, with sodium chlorate, water, and carbon dioxide, Sometimes it's easier to balance the chemical equation when it's still written as H2CO3. And then what you could do, like let's say in front of this carbonic acid, there was a three. What that means is those three carbonic acids would break down into three waters and three carbon dioxides. If there was a five in front of your carbonic acid, that would break down into five waters and five carbon dioxides. So if you're having trouble balancing your chemical equation, try balancing it with the H2CO3, and then you'll be able to figure it out a little bit better. We're gonna go and break up all those aqueous ones. Sodium carbonate breaks up into sodium ions and carbonate ions. This HClO3 breaks up into hydrogen and chloride ions. Sodium chlorate breaks up into sodium ions and chloride ions but we leave our solids, liquids, and gases alone. So we're gonna keep water intact, carbon dioxide intact. We do not break that up into hydrogen and hydroxide or hydrogen and oxide, carbon and oxide. Nope, solids, liquids, and gases stay the same. It's just the aqueous ones that we break up. We'll cancel out our sodium and chlorate spectators, leaving just hydrogen and carbonate behind to form our water and carbon dioxide.